Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Last time we explored down into the sewers and did a bunch of miscellaneous stuff around town. The sewers were slightly disappointing. Um, just harvested a whole bunch of our rhubarb, so these were done, um, which is good. Um, actually, one of my pieces of trash got ourselves a piece of cloth, which is what happened before. Um, which is why I've already got the cloth put in here. So the next piece of wool I get is actually just going to be shipped off so we can get that checked off. And then we're going to take this piece of cloth and go ahead and finish ourselves a second bundle. The artisan bundle, which just leaves us this left over for the upcoming summer. So we can get our greenhouse in time for winter, which is awesome. So that was just completed. Um... Otherwise, I don't really have anything else planned at the exact moment. Uh, we're just going to kind of be sitting around and waiting to see if something happens. Our slime might be hatching today. I think it's like the third day or something. So we'll go check on that here in a minute. Um, also, just to see if we can get some wool, which I think we'll be able to get some wool. Yeah, we can't get some wool today. So it's every two, two days on every third day you can um, get ourselves some wool. So now we can go ahead and ship that off. Oh, no. this cow instead there we go um, but we got a good chunk of money so I'm debating about whether or not I want to buy a pig with the 16,000 or I want to save up the 20,000 and upgrade our our coop I guess I need to check my resources first and make sure we have enough resources to build the coop and if that's the case I might I might save up for the coop just so we can get that maxed off and kind of stop worrying about upgrading the buildings because um, then I think we'll have all of the buildings built with the exception of, you know, we can of course build more coops or more barns or more wells. I think I'm definitely gonna build another silo for the upcoming winter because we could build like a bunch of silos and just tuck them in the corner and then, um, you know, really put all that wheat away. So of course we can build like repeat buildings, um, but we otherwise won't have anything to build. Um, we've done all this big stuff. So I think I might go ahead and just build the coop. Oh, it did hatch. Okay, I don't know how this works. Because I don't want to kill it. Yeah, I don't want to kill it and just like get a piece of slime. Do I put slime in there? I have no idea. I might have to look this up. Because if I kill it, then I, then like it goes away. So I just need to get slime eggs. Is that like the only way I do it? I'm not really sure. We're just going to leave it alone for the, ex the next moment here. Um, did I go in here yet? I think I did. There was nothing. Okay. So, I'm going to keep a little bit of rhubarb, just because it seems like it's a rare crop that we harvested, collected from that place way over there. So, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, put... How about these three? These three can stay in here. Um, I'm going to probably... Should, I should probably take out all the actually cooked food and have another chest in my house. That's something I could should probably do okay so this can be shipped off as can these and then we'll go ahead and bring this so let's go to the community center let me grab my horse I should have put my horse barn like right next to my house because it's much faster to grab it and go than not than having to like walk over and get it and then come back because of course it is quicker to walk around with the horse to get everywhere than when you have just use, of course, like the minecart's fastest, but it's still faster than running or walking. Um, I feel like there was something else really on the list that I wanted to get done, but I think it was just, let's finish this bundle because everything else is waiting for summer. So I guess in the off season until we wait for summer, I got my crops to harvest and then I can do some mining, I guess. Um, fishing, wow. Oh, Fishing, cooking, working on the farm, it's nothing too exciting. Another keg. I can take the keg. Alright. I feel so that we got so close to getting five gold ones. <sighs> so close. So close. I wonder if both of these rooms will get repaired together. I wonder. Because one's like the kitchen and the pantry. Um... Yeah, I might mine and try and make some money. 
so that we can go ahead and build the deluxe coupe. Let's go ahead and do that. Man, did I have a heck of a time down in the mines. It was pretty rough. I was down, just going down into the red levels, and for some reason, I just had a couple really bad luck cases. And this is actually like my third trip down there. It was, I basically tr died. <laughs> I, d I didn't basically, I did die twice. I died twice, both times because I got a little freaking greedy and just had a little bit too much fun in the mines. One time I had a bunch of diamonds, like three or four of them because I like crazy lucky and then if not more than that and then another time I got some like um, rare artifacts that I had needed to donate that I hadn't gotten yet and and both times I died I lost about like 80% stuff and then I had lost my sword every single time so I was like I have to restart because I'm not doing this before so I didn't save but I finally went in there once <clears throat> and I did okay um it was not as good as the first two runs. I just didn't have the luck when I went in there, but I didn't die, and I just got back with all of my stuff. And over the night period, um, you'll be able to see that we got to level eight in combat, um, which was crazy because we got something new. We got this thing, the slime incubator. I, right, is this what we got? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a slime incubator that we got um, with level 8. So if I get Iridium, we can now hatch slime eggs. So if I get slime eggs in my slime hutch, um, I can I can grow up basically a bunch of them. Um, I guess there's only one incubator in there now, and I can basically craft more to have more slimes. So that's a thing now. And then we also got our first level 10 skill. And it took me a long time to pick which one I wanted, but we got to level 10, so we're completely leveled up now, max, and farming, mining, and forging are very close, pining, and combat is getting there. Still need to do my fishing. Level 6, I know, is a key point we need to get to. But I picked... So based on what you pick in the first stage, it gives you the different options in level 10. I picked agriculturalists, so all crops will grow 10% faster. So crops are worth 10% more, and they grow 10% faster. I could have made, like, the fine things... You know, the wines, the cheeses, the, the uh, I, I guess the, the more processed products um, worth more money, but I didn't. Um, I didn't because I just see myself spending more time farming than making machines and filling up all the machines. I don't know. It just doesn't seem as good to me. Um, so that's why I was kind of focusing on that. Um, I just thought that, that would be better. So, I have some stuff to go over. As you can see, I did actually get a lot of geos, which was kind of neat, um, and gold to cook. So I got a lot of stuff to cook here, and stuff to harvest, and finally getting grass to grow. But I just wanted to share that, and I also wanted to share, um, again, just, uh, I had no instruction. Um, so I had to go on the internet and Google this. One of the few things I've Googled along with how to use the, how to work with the animals, was I didn't know how this worked. So I'm supposed to fill these with water, which I didn't know. So you fill these with water, which is, it's like feeding the slimes, you give them water. So instead of giving them hay and the other animals, you feed these with water, and then the slimes will sometimes go in here and they sometimes will make slime balls with uh, the water. And then maybe drop an egg. I'm not sure if they drop eggs in here. I might just have to find them in the wild, in which case we haven't yet, but that's why I was in the mines here hunting. So that all happened. Um, let me get myself situated. I've got crops to harvest, and then after that, um, if anything interesting happens at the store, I will take a trip there. Um, or I will show you if I go to the, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Um, gosh darn. The museum. That's what I'm trying to think of. We haven't been there. Oh, I need a coal. We haven't been there in a long time. So, I wanted to make sure we can stop in for a little bit. And if I get something interesting from these geodes, I will show it. If not, um, you guys will be checking in the next time something interesting happens, which, I don't know, it might not be until 
the end of the summer, I'm kind of just ready or ready for spring to end because I can't really do anything until summer, especially when it comes to these bundles and some of our animals. But we made some money though, so um, it might be getting close to close to the time to um, well, actually, no, yeah, we have one more upgrade to do on the coop, right? We have one more. Which one? No. Which one? We have maybe upgrades to do on both of them. I have no idea. I, I haven't played this game in another good couple of, um, like, a week or so. So I'm a little behind myself. Um, but I know there's something we're going to be able to do with this 26,000. So, and we're going to get a lot more from all this profit from the farming. It's uh, There's going to be something we're going to do in just a moment. Complete breakfast. Last week I taught you how to make hash browns, and this week I'll show you how to combine them with other ingredients to create a hearty, complete breakfast. This meal will really fill you up and give you the energy you need to get you in a hard day's work. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> and give you the energy you need to get in a hard day's work. Yay, we learned something new. It's been a while since we've learned something new from... Uh... Our cooking show and we've got mail today who could this be from notice Pierre here I really really want a plate of sashimi I'll pay top coin to have her bring me some and I think we can cook that if I remember correctly yeah it's literally just any fish so I will work on that and are these ready to harvest what were these again oh yeah the strawberries strawberries from the festival which i don't know why this one didn't really gr grow i get kind of confused while some of these things grow and some of them don't i think some weird things happen um but i always find the strawberries are weird that they give them to you like well into the like a week or so into the season you know and then they only get like one or two harvests but um that was that i made a whole bunch more money yesterday and then got distracted by the time so today we're gonna get these things done our baby brown chick grew up, and now we have our very first brown egg. So we can get this marked off on our shipping export list. And in addition, um, I realize that the barn is, I believe, fully maxed out, which means we still need to buy a pig. But it is the, um, the coop that needs the full upgrade that will allow us to rabbits and will give it the auto feed system, because the auto feed system is fairly nice. And I think, not quite over here yet, I might go buy some more grass and plant it here at Pierre's today. But, uh, and here, this is this is getting nice and filled up, so I think for those four, it's going to be substantial, or be enough for them. So, hopefully that will be the case. Our apple tree is growing along quite nicely, and will be ready for the fall for sure. And, yeah, I think that'll be the next thing we'll, that's really, because I'm not doing my house yet. Although I've almost got enough hardwood for it, but this will be the next upgrade soon. Um, after we buy pigs, but I can't remember how much pigs were. We'll go check that today as well. Um, I think that was actually everything I needed to check on today. I had a bunch of stuff that looked like I needed to smelt in here, but I wanted to keep some of it. Yeah, we'll keep all this stuff for now. You never know when we're going to need something again. I'm not hard pressed, super hard pressed for money. Um, I'm going to keep some of these strawberries, but I'm going to go ahead and export all of this stuff to get that on the list. And... On the list here, the brown egg, small brown egg, large brown egg will go in here, which will be quite nice because that'll be another thing on the list there. So I'm not sure what this is. Is this another type of jam or honey that I was supposed to make? I know this is, we'll make this with the hay in the spring or in the summer, but still just look at on here sometimes and I'm like, haven't got a duck feather yet either. And the rabbit's foot, I like how it comes already with a keychain. And these are the rest of the fruit, but all right, I'm getting distracted. Um, let's go run over and get these gems appraised because it's been a while one thing i have completely forgotten about is upgrading the tools we have the money and the gold to upgrade these tools and at the end of the season i'm going to upgrade something i'm not sure if it's going to be the hoe or the watering can or the axe i have no idea what it's going to be probably going to be the watering can but it could be the axe to speed you know cutting logs up but no it'll probably be the gold watering can um, cause it is only 10,000, like that's, we're getting that pretty readily now. So I could do all three tools, um, and then just go down in the mines for a couple, a day or two while that happens, or I could do the animals. <sighs> okay, so I don't see what the point of doing these are. I could see maybe the watering can to water more at once, but now that we're getting sprinklers and I'm not farming as much, cause there's been a lot of side quests going on, but 
you know, at first it was like you couldn't break certain things and do certain things, but now it seems kind of silly because I don't see what we can't do. Um, like, what can't we break that we've seen that we need to upgrade our tools? It's really just going to be, I guess, for speed. Um, so I don't see why we need to do it yet. So that's why I'm going to do things like complete the bundles first before we worry about getting all gold tools. But for the first time in a while, I've got something to donate to the museum. Um, we got two new, actually which was quite a surprise for us to get. And we got a new reward, so I knew we'd probably get something because it's been a little while. You know, still missing that last scroll, scroll to complete that collection and uh, a couple more in that category, but uh, we're getting there. I believe um, that you can't, like you can go and like read each of these, but you can't read the ones on the inside of the table. So it's in your better interest to fill these all up because apparently there's more spaces, at least from what I've been told by people in the comments, there's more spaces um, on the tables than there are actual items. Um, but now, as you can see, we can actually walk up to each and every one of these and now read them and, and talk about them. And of course, I don't have them very sorted. It would be kind of nice to maybe sort the gems and the different stones around. But, you know, then if you look at it this way, we're actually getting pretty close. So... All right, let's see. Whoops, I did that last time. Let's see what the reward is. Crystal chair. So oh, some furniture for the house. We'll go ahead and take that, I guess. Not that that really looked like my style. Um, I didn't know there was trash cans over here. I didn't notice that. Um, but I guess it's gonna be time to go back to the bus stop we're going to go down and check at I want to see how much a pig is because if a pig it's not too expensive um, I think it might have been 25,000 because again I'd rather complete the bundles first than the upgrades and I want I think I've written down how much money it is to do a coop so the deluxe coop is 20 G and oh yeah maybe I didn't have the stone for it there might have been something I didn't have um, there's nobody around to make fun of me. For digging in the trash can, I realize I can actually get a couple decent items from that. There's no trash can down there, no. Or up here, I believe. Okay, let's see, what can we purchase? So we can do a pig, which we don't have yet. Oh, it's only 16 G? Oh yeah, we're definitely getting this right now. Why do we not have a pig yet? Oh, it must have been, I must have made a lot more from those day or two of mining than I thought. Um, Apparently, there's actually different patterns of the other animals, like the cow friends. You can get brown cows, but it doesn't produce anything different. The chicken, the two types of chickens, for some reason, are the only things that produce something different. I mean, I know there's such things as brown eggs and, and white eggs, but there's not really anything else. But you could get, like, different colored sheep, for instance, for different colored wool to make different cloths. But, or they could just have you dyed them. But still, I'm surprised that there's the only one that's different. But we're going to go ahead and buy the pig, um, because we can, and the barn is complete. So we're going to go ahead and buy this, and it's only 16G, and then we might, we're might we going to be really close to, to have enough money to build that coop. I'll just have to check on the rest of the resources. Brilbo, that is a perfect name for a pig. All right. Now, just checking out your supplies. We have tons of hay. We don't have a heater. Um, I guess this could be something we look into getting. What do, I, I'm not sure if it's one in each room or what, but... Um, okay, so next up is going to be getting some resources together so we can get this coop going. But I just wanted to probably do some fishing, and I'm going to talk with the villagers today because I don't really have too much else I want to get done in spring. I'm kind of waiting for summer. So I don't think I feel like going to the mines. It's a little late in the day. So let me work on some friendships. Look at the piggy! So this is a baby dude. It's going to be huge. Um, I thought it was grown already. I was like, what? It's already grown. Um... Yeah, I get. I guess it just finds truffles and they just like appear. I meant to go look at. I think it just says finds truffles, sniffs them out, and those will be dropped in here as like an item. Probably like the pigs drop the rest or the animals, whatever these things are called, in the chicken coop. Um, I had some some sashimi in my chest actually, so I'm gonna go run over and we'll give this to Pierre right now because I know he'll be in his store while it's still open. And then, yeah, I think that'll, I gotta check. I meant to check to my resources to make sure I got enough to do this coop, uh, with the exception of the money. So, let's go run in here. Hey, George. 
That's a terrible gift. You hate those. Good to know. What about you? Okay. Um, what about you? Yeah, it's not. Nobody likes salmon berries like they do blackberries. I mean, blackberries are like everyone's favorite. Behind the counter blues. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to cheer you up by giving. Right? It was, it was. Okay, it was Pierre. It's about time. I was starting to get the shakes. I wanted this fish so bad. That's interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Okay, well, how much should we get paid? Wow, a thousand G! Holy crap. That's. That was a hefty price. Thanks, dude. Kent. Oh, yeah. I was like. I was like. I thought he was Alex for a second. I'm like, but that's not Alex. This is, I forgot. I forgot. So you really like those. Okay. Good to know. Look who's in town and has some items I'm interested in spending some money on. Don't need any of these. Um, these for the price, it wouldn't be bad just because it gives you a little bit of luck, but I'm not in that right now. Iridium ore, it's only 400. Gold ore costs that much at the store, so this is on a good price. It's tempting to buy a couple of these. Um, the puffer fish, we need one of those for the specialty fish. And instead of catching it in summer, we can just complete it now, and I can be greedy. Um, because it's only 800, but I, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it, because you know me and fishing, not very good. Um, I don't know what this is. Spires, in quotes, can be placed inside your house. It's furniture. It's super expensive, but it sounds really awesome. Um, it, it sounds super awesome, so it's really tempting. Um, I know we have some iridium ore back at home, but I don't need iridium right now. So I'm not going to spend it on that, but I'm tempted to spend the money on this. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? What do I do? What do I do? I'm uh, sure. I don't know what this is, so we're going to buy it, and we'll see if that's cool or not. I think it's just a picture, um, but I, I like it, so it's definitely a picture. But it looks cool, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. I'm getting the last of my hardwood. i got to chop down some trees to get a little bit of wood for the coop, and then we'll be set on supplies for that. Okay, so I got enough resources to build the chicken coop. I got the 500 wood and 200 in stone. Now I just need to get myself to 20G, and we'll go ahead and upgrade that, which will allow us to have rabbits, and we'll have the auto-feeding system. That is the next thing to do on the list. I also finally got enough hardwood. You need 150 and then the 50G to upgrade our house. It's just tedious to get that, because you got to kind of remember to go back to the secret woods where you can get up to like 10 or 12 a day. I've got the gold bars here. After we do the chicken coop, I'll be spending the 30000 to get our tools upgraded. So that'll either be at the end of this season, or the start of the next season into summer. Um, we're now going to go take that puffer fish to go finish the finish off the specialty fish bundle. Um, I obviously still haven't caught a puffer fish, but that'll happen down the road when I'm not worrying about um, that too much and we're just fishing. It'll be less of a stressful thing because I really suck at fishing, and um, especially when it seems like it's a hard fish to catch. You know, it might be a common thing, and the 800 wasn't worth it because I can't finish the rest of the bundle now anyway. But I think it'll be helpful, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it because you never know when we're going to get come across one of these again, and the price really wasn't that terrible. You know, we our crystallarium was going is going to hurt. Go ahead and it's going to make one $750 um, diamond, so I'm not too worried that that's going to happen like the next day anyway. Uh, what do we get? We got Dish of the Sea. Ooh, plus three on fishing. This will keep you warm in the cold sea air. So during the summer, I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing, and we got five of them, and that is going to do the job. That is going to really, really help me get these three, which are basically like all summer fish, I think. Uh, basically get all three of those, and then in the summer rain, go ahead and catch the sturgeon, I believe. And we're going to have all of this done, and the glittering boulder is going to be removed. So I'm not sure what that's going to do because we can't swim or get in the water, at least to my knowledge. So maybe that gives us the ability to swim and get in the water and explore that cave. Or it crumbles and then we can like hop across the stones and go in that cavern. Or something completely unrelated is going to happen that I don't even know what it's going to be. Um, so yes, that is going to be the next... That bundle is very close to being coming complete and it'll probably be the, it will be the next bundle that'll be completed um, because the pantry one is a, a ways away. Um, all right, let me sell all of this stuff. Keep that. Sell that, sell that, sell those. We don't need any more of these. Go ahead and sell that. Okay, we'll keep the rest of this stuff. I think. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. 
and the food. I'm actually going to keep this with my fishing so I remember that we have it, because I'll forget about it when we start doing all of our fishing stuff, because uh, we still haven't even used the tackle. So I really haven't explored the probably what's the magical parts of fishing. Um, I also don't need the sickle anymore for right now. Let me put that away. Okay, let's take a look at what these paintings are like that we bought. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I have to say that's a pretty nice picture. Um, that'll look cool on a, in one of the rooms when we get more of them. And then a crystal chair. Not sure what this is gonna be like at all. But I'm not sure what's special about it. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this away in our furniture chest for the moment. We'll keep the paintings up on the wall. So that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Next time I will have the money to get the deluxe coop up and running. Our pig will probably be fully grown and maybe we'll have found a truffle and yeah, something else will probably be happening. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.